Hello, hello. Welcome everyone at the booth of Carriot by Volkswagen Group. We are really excited to have you all here with us today. And I don't know how much you really know about Carriot, what you really know about us, what you would like to know, but I can promise you this. We love code. We love to do the future of the car. And we really hope that we can also give you a very small insight of what we are doing and especially why we are doing it. My name is Nari. I'm working at Carrot and I'm the head of strategic programs. And today we would like to give you a little insight on what we believe, what are five ways that code can change the world. So nothing else, nothing less. And therefore, we are talking about code that moves the world and what we believe is so important after that. And as you all know, because right now we are here at the IAA Mobility in Munich, of course, the automotive industry is completely changing. It is a huge transformation. And also, let us be a little bit honest, a huge clash of code meeting also industrial thinking, of course, engineers meeting software engineers, and therefore it is quite an exciting time where the automotive industry is completely being put upside down, and we are in the middle of it. And therefore, what we are really working on is, of course, data, software, and what we believe is key for the future. And what is the key for the future? It's data, because of course, data in the car will become the currency of the future. So sometimes we have a lot of discussions, as you may know and also think about what is the right way? Is it left? Is it right? Which way should we go? But what we are really convinced of is that together we will drive the future of the car, make the car digital and ready for the future. And this is exactly what drives us. And therefore, we are completely in the transformation. As I said before, we have 10 million cars every day, every year, and really changing how cars are moving, how cars are connected, how cars are speaking to each other, basically. And we want to contribute to it and make it better than it is today. And what we want to show you is how we can provide an impact and show you what really drives us. And I will show you a way of how code is really transforming automotive mobility. And there are five ways that there are. And those are the five ways that we are convinced that code will not only move people, but of course make cars better than they are today and also change the world a little bit and make it better than it is today. You don't think it's possible? Maybe I can convince you a little bit. So let me go through all those five points in a very short time. So let's start. The first one is code will entertain us during our ride. We all know it. We have the voice control and voice assistance. They are showing us the perfect way to go. Maybe if you're driving an electric vehicle, it shows us the perfect charging stations on the road. It helps us to turn up music, make it uh, louder or even more quiet. It's all already there and nothing new. But it's really interesting because this kind of voice control has two large benefits for the customers. First of all is it distracts us less from driving. So it also has a security aspect because we don't have to look for the right button, but we can just speak and therefore control and therefore really focus more on driving and being less distracted. That is number one. But there's also a second advantage why voice control is really an interesting fact besides the entertainment factor. And I don't know if you know that, but because of voice control, we are reducing 50% of all buttons in the interior cockpit. Therefore, we have much more space and the cockpit is much more cleaner than before just because we can really 
use voice control as an assistance than before. And therefore, we are also learning a lot about our customers. We are trying to provide the best entertainment, the best service. And that is what we try to learn and improve and make voice assistance really a big companion, I would say, for the ones who are driving. So that was the first point. But then, of course, there's a second point, and I already talked a little bit about safetyness, because, of course, code in the car will make traffic safer for everyone than it is today. And I don't know if you are aware of that. If you look at the traffic system today, we still have quite some dark numbers out there. We still have every year two million accidents on the road, unfortunately. We have 3,000 deaths in accidents. And if we are really honest, 95% of all accidents are being caused by humans. And therefore, we are, of course, working towards contributing towards road safety and making it more secure. And you can also see it already today with connected cars. That means cars are being connected to other cars, other vehicles, but also to traffic lights, to the traffic system. And that has already a very huge impact because if you're imagining to be within a huge traffic and an ambulance is coming from the back, Today, it takes quite a while until you hear it and you start to move your car around it to make space. When you are connected and the car already knows when the ambulance is coming from the back, you can immediately and very much earlier start to pull away the car and make space and therefore really contributing towards a better access for the ambulances. So that is already a huge advantage that we have already through codes providing towards road safety. And I think that is already a very important part. And even though maybe some of you may not like to hear it, today we are able to have traffic lights and systems, but also a couple of numbers regarding um, the speed of driving. But today you don't really know whether or not the driver will actually implement it. So you can have a warning sign of 30 kilometers per hour whether or not the driver will really do it and reduce the speed, you don't know. But when you are connected with the car, then you have an immediate effect because the car will automatically speed down and really hold onto the sign that is really out there. And that is also a huge different contribution towards road safety for the future. So that was reason number two. Let's look at a third reason why code is really contributing towards a better society. And that is code will make driving more sustainable. And maybe I can also start again with a fact. I'm not sure if you know that, but today, if you look at where the traffic in a city is really building up, 30 or 40 percent of most of the city traffic is being provided when people are looking for a parking space. And therefore, if we have an intelligent traffic system where the cars are automatically being driven towards parking spaces that are empty, then you have already a huge effect because you can reduce emissions and therefore make driving in a city much more efficient than it is today. And therefore, also with the connected cars, you can not only reduce emissions, but really make it more adaptive to the current situation and therefore really providing an impact towards less CO2 emissions, which is probably for all of us a very important topic. And that was number three. Two more we still have. The number four reason why we believe code is so important for the future is that code will keep the automotive experience always fresh. We all know that, of course, from our updates on the smartphones. And of course, it's nothing new for you that we will also have new forms of updates on the phone, also on the car regularly. Why? Because, of course, the system is so important for the car that we always need to improve it and always need to make sure that we have the newest updates and versions, of course, in the car. 
but there's also more reasons. Second part, of course, is we need to make sure that hackers cannot hack into the car. Therefore, again, safety and security reasons are really important so we can really have the car on the newest state what's possible. But there's also another huge advantage for the customers because when you update the car and really have it as fresh and as young as possible, you need to go less to the service station because you can already reduce a lot of services via over-the-air updates. So it's also a huge benefit uh, for the customers in the future. And also maybe one more idea what has also a huge benefit for customers through over-the-air updates is that you can also, if you need them, only purchase a feature when you know it every now and then. For example, it's really cold outside and you want to have a heat seating uh, feature, but only for the weekend because it's freezing cold outside. Then you can just purchase that for a weekend and if you don't need it, you don't have to pay for it anymore. So those are all those kinds of new features that will be possible in the future for all, all customers. And now I will come to the last point, why I really believe that code is hugely impacting the lives of our customers and all of us, to be honest, and that is, of course, autonomous driving, because right now we still have a lot of hours that we spend in a car. There are a couple of calculations that, that say, in, on average, a person spends 37,000 hours in a lifetime driving in a car and that is a huge number and I think all of us can imagine better ways and better things to do than to sit in the car and drive because you can think about entertainment, you can read, you can work and you can of course even sleep and therefore code will give back time and I think that has a huge effect on all of us. It can even lead to a change of where people are living because you may not need to live close to the work where you work anymore, but you can live further away because you can use the time for sleeping or for other things, which is quite interesting. And I would like to show you another impactful point that is really important, and that is through autonomous driving we can also provide mobility to people who have not been mobile before. And I think that is also a very beautiful possibility and a new chance of autonomous driving to which we can contribute because we can provide autonomous driving to people who are always dependent on others, people who may have a disability in a physical or psychological form, people who have been too young or too old to drive, or people who just don't want to drive. And therefore, I think this will be a big game changer in the future and really changing the way how we will not only drive, but also live and work in the future. So let me just wrap up. Those were five points how we believe that code will change the future of the car. And I think what is really nice is for us, we get to know our customers better. We can provide towards automobile future. And it will really have a huge difference on our customers and our passengers become really user oriented. And if we focus on our customers, we will have a really great chance to, yeah, let me just say, turn the car from being just a machine, just automation, to really becoming a companion. And I think that is an amazing thought. And we want to use code to contribute exactly towards that, to not only move our cars, but also people, our society, and the world a little bit better than it is today. And therefore, I would say, for us, this is a huge possibility and we'd be really thrilled if you were interested in learning a little bit more about Carriot, about what drives us, why we are doing that, and I really hope that we could provide you a little bit of what we are working on right now and therefore contributing to the future of the car and our society. And therefore, I would say thank you so much for your attention and if you have any kind of question, please feel free to ask. I think we have Jane here with the mic and therefore I'd be happy to answer some more questions or just be here if you want a chat on a private side. Thank you so much.
So if you have any question, please feel free, or we can just move here and talk without the mics if you feel more comfortable with that. Great. Maybe we have here yeah. one question. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit uh, astonished because um, we already have problems every time the fucking computer updates mm -hmm. the programs and you say the car will update all the time. So I'm not sure I feel this a safe way to do it. Uh, the, I don't know what's the, the, the strategy in this. Uh, will it be, are the codes much more tested and uh, matured before they update in the car because uh, yeah. this is a major problem, I think. Absolutely, and we completely agree that, of course, and that's what all the customer orientation, customer centricity is about. I think we all agree if it really is a pain to update a device that cannot be the right way for the future, and therefore we will, of course, do everything that it's as smooth as possible because we cannot really take the risk that people will not like to update and therefore have security issues, and that is definitely an important part, yes. Thank you for the question. Well, I'll be here and I wish you a beautiful lunchtime here at the IAA Mobility and hopefully see you soon again.